Diabetes can cause problems around your body if it's untreated. If high levels of glucose stay in the blood, it can start to damage the blood vessels. The walls of your arteries can become thick and hard, which can lead to problems with blood circulation. There is less room for the blood and nutrients to flow, and the arteries to the heart, called coronary arteries, have trouble expanding when the heart needs more blood. The blood flow to areas of the heart becomes restricted because the small blood vessels, known as capillaries, are not able to deliver enough blood to the muscle. There is not enough oxygen and nutrients reaching the muscle cells to keep them healthy. Diabetes can cause damage to the small blood vessels in your eyes. This can happen in the retina, the film at the back of the eye that helps you see. The blood vessels in the retina may swell like tiny balloons. Blood can leak through the weakened blood vessel walls. In some people, the blood vessels can also become blocked and stop providing nutrients and oxygen to parts of the retina. Sometimes, new blood vessels grow to replace the damaged ones, but these are not strong and so more fluid leaks into the eye. Diabetes can damage the kidneys, a condition known as diabetic nephropathy. This means that the kidneys don't work as well and can't do their job of cleaning out waste products from the blood. Diabetes can also lead to nerve damage, a condition known as diabetic neuropathy. This is one of the most common complications of diabetes. People with diabetes can develop foot problems because of nerve damage in the feet or when blood flow to the leg and feet is poor. Because the circulation is not as good, people with diabetes can develop skin problems like ulcers. But the good news is that these complications can be prevented with good diabetes management. Being in control of your diabetes can make a real difference. Your doctor or healthcare worker will talk to you about the best ways for you to control your diabetes.